All right, guys, so today I'm just getting right into the trick. This is what it is going to look like. So let's say uh, we have a deck of cards here, and you can pick any card that you like, any one that you want at all. So let's say you pick this one here from the middle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys look at it. I don't want to see it. Let's see, you guys can look at it from here. And then all I want to do is lose this into the middle. And the way this trick works is I've posted a trick on here before where you set a number and your card ends up being whatever number you call out. So I'm going to kind of do the same exact thing here, but a little bit different. So I'm going to go through the deck, and wherever you guys happen to say the number is where it's going to be at. So let's say we put this card off to the side, actually. And then wherever you guys say stop, it's going to be where your card is, hopefully. So go ahead, say any number 1 through 52. Let's say you want to pick a number like 20. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, like I said, guys, the 20th card should be your card, but you see it's not. So what happens is if I stop my fingers right here, the card actually jumps right over there. So this should be your card. That is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is going to work. It's basically just comprised comprised of one move. Um, I'm going to be going into detail on how to do that as well. So basically what you want to do is get something maybe like a joker or something like a premium card, uh, something that comes with the deck but shouldn't necessarily be there. So um, you could do the trick by just having a card flipped over on the bottom, a random card like that. Um, but if you use a card like this, it's going to look a little bit more random to the spectator, like you didn't mean for this card to be there. So you'll see what I mean in a second, but let's say we stick this card in the bottom of the deck, and it should look something like this. You're going to have that random card face up at the very bottom, and then at this point, you're going to have the spectator uh, pick any card. And the good part about this trick is that you can conceal the face up card so you can really have the spectator pick any card just make sure not to scroll all the way to the bottom so let's say they pick a card now they're going to look at it from here so in this case we have the five of spades but the spectator is going to see it and you don't really need to know it for the trick so you can have them place it on top of the deck and then you can give it a cut or something but you're just leaving that card in the middle so this is where their card is you can just cut the deck putting that face up card directly on top it's going to look something like this. And then from here, what you do is you tell the spectator, you kind of explain to them that they're going to uh, be saying a number. Okay, it could be any number 1 through 50, 52 in the deck. And as you say that, as you're explaining to them, you know, you can pick a number 1 through 52. And I'm going to go through the deck one by one. And as you're kind of explaining that whole you're going through the deck one by one process, you're spreading out the deck, you don't really make a big deal about this card being face up. You kind of make it like nonchalant, like you didn't know this card was going to be face up. But in reality, what you're doing is when you spread to this card, you're going to spread one card past the face-up card to get your, to catch a pinky break underneath the card below it, which is going to be their card. So from here, you spread past it, you get a pinky break right above their card. You now flip over that middle card, that one that's face-up. You flip that over with the other deck, and you say, okay, in one swift motion, you kind of put this deck on top of the pinky break, grab the whole thing from the pinky, and you're sliding out that bottom most card as you pull the top half away. Grab that with your thumb and say, you know what, I'm just gonna leave this card over here actually. So you're really not trying to make a big deal um, about moving that at all. So if you guys wanna go ahead and rewind that, if you wanna get that again, you can. But at this point, you just put the deck back on top their card is going to be here. Okay, so then you can say, you know what, go ahead and call out a number. Let's see if this works. So at this point, you can just go ahead and deal out any number of cards. And none of the cards are going to be theirs, but then you snap your fingers and the card pops back over here. So if you guys want to see the explanation one more time, I'm going to be going over it. So you go ahead and you get that random card. That is going to be on the bottom, face up from the bottom. The spectator's card, the five of spades, is going to be right below it and at this point you say okay you know what I'm gonna go you go ahead and call it a number we're gonna go through the cards one by one and you kinda act surprised a little bit but don't oversell it and then you say I'm gonna go through the cards one by one and as you're kinda just talking you get a pinky break underneath that card flip over there uh, the face up card and say let's just go ahead and put that off to the side and in that moment 
you've now switched it out with the spectator's card. So I'm sure most of you guys have got it, but one more time, if you guys want to see it again, that card is going to be with the pinky break. Flip it over. You have two cards in the break. Square everything up. Grab it with the pinky break from the pinky break with your thumb. And as you slide it away, you're peeling off that bottom card, holding it with your left thumb, pushing it off to the side. All right, guys, so this is a trick. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.